another person around my age has just passed away. An ex-employee of the company that I've worked with for almost a quarter of a century. He retired and um, started doing a bit of travelling from what I could tell. And um, I don't know if he had any sort of lingering illness or anything like that, but he is no longer, I'm afraid. It seems I'm getting news like this almost every week now of people in my age bracket in their 50s just suddenly passing away. And it only reinforces the value of what I've been <laughs> convincing myself of and hopefully convincing a few of you. And that is, of course, the value of making time to go and do things that make you happy, that, that bring balance to your life and, and um, enhance your sense of calm. Every time I film one of these videos, you see me looking all stressed and everything as I'm leaving the house. And then usually by the end of the video, I'm all relaxed and calm and peaceful. When my dad retired, he told me that it took him years to get used to the idea that he could now quite justifiably do whatever the hell he wanted and enjoy himself guilt-free. Um, so I suspect that after 36 years of working my ass off full time, it's going to take me a while to get used to this idea of taking days off, whole days off, just to do something enjoyable, like get outside and take photos. So where are we heading? Well, as always, we're heading north. <laughs> Almost always we head north because where I live, it's kind of in the northern part of metropolitan Melbourne. So I can drive literally two or three minutes and I'm out in the bush with kangaroos around me and all that sort of stuff. So the natural inclination is always to head north. Um, but today we're going to head northeast to Mount Macedon and I photographed um, Hanging Rock there not long ago at the back of Mount Macedon, that beautiful cluster of rocks, volcanic rocks, um, which I photographed with my drone. I went there on three separate days and finally got the right light on the third day and it's a spectacular place. The pathway leading into my first location was beautiful. The ground was moist, the air was rich with the smell of vegetation and I had the place pretty much to myself, being a weekday. The thing is though, it just, for some reason, maybe it was my mood on the day, I'm sure that was part of it, but I just wasn't feeling it when it comes to photos. Maybe it had to do with the lighting. It was directly overhead, it was in and out of clouds. Um, I just couldn't seem to frame something up. It's funny now, looking back at the video here and some of the raw footage that I shot while I was there, I could see photographic opportunities in that video that I just didn't notice when I was there. But as beautiful as this spot was, I didn't get a single image of this pond that I was happy with. Um, I mean, I got my camera out and I pointed it around, left, right, up and down, walked around a bit, but I don't know, nothing grabbed me. So I packed my gear back up again and I got the hell out of there and went off in search of another spot. About 10 minutes down the track, I found this lovely parkland area where people come for picnics and spotted this collection of leaves clinging on to this tree, this last sort of branch of leaves from, uh, from autumn. And really, if I hadn't have <laughs> gotten these images here, I'd have nothing at all to show for this video because I certainly got nothing back at the pond. Anyway, here's a few more images for you to look at before we nick off. Almost two years ago, a close friend of mine, John James, passed away with cancer. John was 10 times fitter than I've ever been, but he couldn't escape cancer. Not long ago, the world was shocked when Shane Warne died. Now, Shane wasn't always a model of perfect health. He liked to drink, he liked to have a smoke, but for the most part, he was just like your average 50 something year old. The chat that I mentioned in this video was also far too young to leave so soon. 
I guess the bottom line is we never quite know when it's our time. And this is something that's been on my mind a lot over the last couple of years. And it's something which I've taken seriously just recently. I stopped drinking about a month and a half ago, um, feeling a lot better from that. Even though I wasn't a heavy drinker, I wasn't, certainly wasn't an alco, but um, definitely getting alcohol out of my system, I think it's been good for me. Um, trying to eat better, all that sort of stuff. But I think one of the most important things and one of the easiest things to overlook and one of the easiest things to excuse away with busyness and with other reasons is spending time doing something that we love, taking time off, literally stopping work and going and doing something that you enjoy. We never know when our last day is going to arrive. So while we can't control the length of our life, we can certainly control the quality of it to some extent. But I think something as simple as going for a walk in the bush or in the desert or along the coast with a camera in our hand is one of the best things we can do for our physical and mental health. So I urge you, if you're like me, if you've been busting your ass and working hard all your life and you seem to keep finding a reason why you can't take time away from work to go and do something as simple as go for a walk with a camera, consider giving it a try and see how you feel about it. It's certainly already improving the quality of my life. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help a lot. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.